Well, while I'm letting this golf cart dry, that one right there, while I'm letting that dry, it's already dry, but I'm letting it dry more. I'm going to take all the aluminum pieces here and paint them black. I don't know how good that's, that paint's going to last on there, but you know. Hey, it looks better than that old rusty, I don't know, I guess aluminum doesn't rust, but that horrible looking aluminum. There we go. Faded, scratched up. So I just put like a matte black on it. I don't know how good it'll last, but it should be easy to touch up. Got all these here done. Got the bumper done. Still need to do that bumper there. I'm also going to have to replace the seat backs here. Yeah, they look kind of... These here, I guess they were glued there from the factory. But when I was taking the bolts out to disconnect them off there, they broke because they were rusted. So I made new backs for them. I still got to put them on. I'm probably just going to cover over this white here. Probably just going to take this camo cloth and put over it. I'm still not sure on that. But just something. I don't want white with olive drab. No. That's not olive drab yet. But here's all the old bolts and everything. There's a bunch there. Got, went ahead and normally the seat backs were this brown. Painted them black. It's going to look a lot better. Here's the list of all the bolts. You know, the ones for the seat backs, the ones for the brackets, the ones for the roof, the top bolts, the front bolts, the bu bumper, front bumper, back bumper, all that stuff there. That's all of it right there. Sure is a mess of bolts. But I'm going to give you a money-saving tip. And no, it's not called Amazon or eBay or online or anything like that. No. The best way to save money when you have to buy a whole bunch of nuts and bolts and washers is to go to your local hardware store. You can buy this stuff by the pound. Not by the piece like you do at Lowe's or Home Depot or online. You can save a lot of money. I mean, just these little bolts right here probably run you four or five dollars just having to buy this stuff here. So that's the best way to do it. I got mine at a true value. I don't know if an Ace Hardware does that. I don't think I have an Ace Hardware close to me. I know I have a true value. So I go there when I have to buy a bunch of bolts or something like that. I can save money by the pound. It's cheap. I mean, a little over ten dollars for all these bolts and stuff. That's a great buy. I've also decided that I want to Paint these wheels on here. I still got to take that hubcap off there. Clean them up with some Wesley bleach white. Get them rinsed off. Get those rims really wiped down really good. Get the dirt off of them. And then try to get it masked off somehow. And I think I'm just going to paint them with like a semi-gloss black. I think that'll look really good on there. You want to know how cheap I am? I took this impact wrench out of a dumpster and it works just fine looky there okay let's get the front wheel see if it shows all right And unlike a car or a truck, there is no brakes on the front. Hello? Wow, check this out. Man, look at that beautiful sky. It's that way all around. Just got a call for a flash flood watch. Golly. Maybe they're anticipating all the sweating that I'm doing. Okay, I got these rims cleaned off on this side. I had to take a wire wheel to this one here. Some of the paint was flaking, but it's not all that smooth, but it'll work good enough for this. I got looking online about how to paint a rim while the tire was still on it. 
someone, I don't, I forgot where it is. I probably saw it a little over a year ago, probably. What they did was use index cards. And they was doing it on a car wheel, but I think it'll work on here. But I can't get the cards in here. I can't get it to really stay in there because that tire bead's right up on there. So I'm going to let the air out of these a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I just got these index cards lined around here. Now, if I was going to do, you know, maybe a better job or maybe it was a bigger wheel or something, I might put some tape up here or bend them down and tape it off, you know, to get the tire covered. But I don't think if I get a little paint on the tire, it's going to bother much. I'm going to be using this stuff right here. Rust-Oleum. Ultra Cover. Paint Plus Primer. And it's semi-gloss black. And what I'm going to do is just put a light coat on here. Now I'm first going to kind of probably go around this outside edge of the rim to get all that gray covered up. But the best way to do this paint here, I've, you know, from in the past, is just get a light coat on whatever you're painting. Now we'll give that, I don't know, wait three or four minutes and come back and put another coat on. It's been about four minutes. I had to turn the fan on. It's just way too hot out here. Okay, let's wait another three, four minutes and come back and put one last coat on there. Past the four minutes, what? Golly! Put one last coat on here. Probably put this one on just a little heavier. It says it dries to the touch in 20 minutes, but I like to wait a little bit longer than that. So I'm gonna let these dry. Then I'll come back and remove these index cards out from between the tire and the rim. I'll air the tires back up and I'll put them on the cart. Then I'm going to let the jack down. Then I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to jack it back up. And I'm going to take those two wheels off and clean them. And go through this whole process. So the next thing you see will be all four wheels painted on here. What do you think? Black wheels look pretty good. I went ahead and removed all the tape and the paper on there. I just wanted to look under to make sure I didn't miss something bad. I mean, I'm going to be getting ready to paint this thing, and I didn't want to paint it and then pull off all that tape and paper and think, oh, no. But that's how the wheels came out. I don't think they look all that bad. I mean, there's probably some green or some gray still on there, but I'll just live with that. I'm not going to buy new tires for it. I don't think it looks too bad like that right there. But I need some color on this. I need it to be all a drab. Lately it's been pretty windy outside. I want to paint this thing outside. But it's been windy and when the wind isn't blowing, it's raining. I can't paint it in the rain. So I went ahead and cleaned up the shop a little bit more. Swept it out. Pretty good, I guess. So I guess I'm just going to take some tarps and hang around this and make like a little paint booth inside here so I can spray this thing. I still need to roll it back outside, wash it all off. It's got plenty of dust on it. It's dusty in here whenever you do anything. It's landed on there. I thought I was going to go ahead and get it washed off, get it dried off, and it'll be ready to paint. Well, I've got everything I think, you know, the little extra things, I think I have all those painted. I got the wheels painted. I got all the aluminum pieces and brackets painted. All I have now is to paint the body of this thing. And that'll be what's coming up next. Well, hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm hoping you're still watching during all this 
process of trying to get this thing repainted and looking a lot different than it was it's gonna look it has to look better than what it was because it sure was ugly in the next video this thing will get painted I'll show you how I'm gonna make the paint and then I'm gonna spray the paint then we can start getting this thing back together I'm tired of walking down my long driveway to get the mail or at least driving my truck down there to get the mail. I'd much rather ride this thing down there to get the mail. Well, hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. I'll try to answer any comments back. Be sure to ring that bell if you want to get notifications. And see ya!